Alex Rodriguez turns critical eye on David Price This version of David Price, when he's right, has a chance to be better than the David Price I saw when he was younger. Alex Rodriguez has stood in the batter's box and faced David Price at his best. He's looked on from the broadcast booth when Price has been at his worst. Rodriguez faced Price 72 times in his career and didn't have much success, with a slash line of .246, .319, .446 and just two of his 696 career home runs. Price has faced only five batters more often, Jacoby Ellsbury, Robinson Cano, Mark Teixeira, Adam Jones, and Derek Jeter. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds Rodriguez, who along with Matt Vaskersian and Jessica Mendoza will call prices start against the Yankees on ESPN's Sunday Night Baseball, is as qualified as just about anyone to evaluate the Red Sox left-hander. Advertisement So the question for Rodriguez is an obvious one, does Price, who was hammered for eight runs, including five homers, in three and a third innings of an 11-1 loss to the Yankees on Sunday Night Baseball, July 1st, still look to him like the pitcher who at times gave him fits? Rodriguez's answer is not so obvious. This version of David Price, when he's right, has a chance to be better than the David Price I saw when he was younger, said Rodriguez. When he first came up to the majors right out of Vanderbilt, he was throwing 98, 99, almost 100, and about 90% fastball. For me, I was a little more comfortable against that. I think he's gotten better with age. I say that from my experience, because of the way he attacked me. He learned to pitch to four quadrants, the north-south approach to pitching as well as the east-west. His signature pitch that I think took him over the top was burying a bunch of cutters on you as a right-handed hitter. Then he would come with the backdoor cutter that out of his hand would look like a pitch out. He got a lot of punch outs with that. The key Sunday is pretty simple. He needs to be able to locate his fastball to both sides of the plate. If he can hit his spots into righties and away from righties, he stretches that 17-inch plate to about 22 inches, and that's a long night for hitters. Advertisement while the Sox entered their four-game series with the Yankees with a five-and-a-half game lead in the alleys, there is an importance attached to Price's start no matter how the previous three games shake out. He's pitched well since the July 1st meltdown, going 2-0 with a 2.81 era and 27 strikeouts in 25 and two-thirds innings over four starts. But since signing a seven-year, $217 million contract before the 2016 season, he's been abysmal against the Yankees. He is 2-6 with an 8.43 era and 1.83 whip in nine starts against New York since coming to Boston, allowing 13 home runs in 47 innings. With the Red Sox and Yankees owning the two best records in baseball and on a path that could lead to their first postseason clash in 14 years, it's imperative, says Mendoza, that Price solves what so far has looked like a pinstripe phobia. I think it's real, said Mendoza, who along with reporter Buster Olney is a holdover from last year's Sunday Night Baseball crew. I'm not saying David Price will struggle permanently against the Yankees and that it's a complete mental thing, but I do believe it is more than just coincidence. Some of the worst starts of his career have been against that team. I would love for him to prove me wrong. You want to see a very strong pitcher be able to compete against a team that is the ultimate rival in the division. That last game was incompetitive. If you take an average fan and say, Red Sox Yankees, Price Tanaka, you'd get fired up. I want that David Price to show up, advertisement Rodriguez is a pivotal figure in Sox Yankees lore, from the near trade to Boston after the 2003 season to his iconic eat the glove encounter with Jason Veritek in 04 to his role in the Yankees blown 3-0 series lead that October. He's sure to draw notice at Fenway, even up in the booth, from the local leather lungs, but he's looking forward to it. My two favorite places to play are the old Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park, he said. I love the fans, the competition, and any time you go to a place with such rich traditions and intelligent, passionate fans, it's something to look forward to. Bess Gershon laughed when asked if he were looking forward to taking in Fenway with A-Rod. 
for all of the controversy that he was involved in with the Yankees and the Red Sox, he's okay with all of it, said Vaskirjan. He talks about it with a pseudo smile in his eye, because he understands that a lot of it was heat of the competition stuff. He occupies a really important place in the lexicon of baseball during those years. I'm sure he's okay with whatever reception he gets there, by Tabula by Tabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may look cable bell this app will have you speaking a new language in three weeks Babylon do best wonder trip seven most breathtaking rooftop hotel pools best wonder trip undo blinkist this woman reads 100 books same on blinkist undo afters of the 20 most generous billionaires in the world afters of undo bluebloom.com six jobs that will be gone in 10 years bluebloom.com undo 10 likes 10 best smart home tech 10 like is undo